What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build a simple FTP server in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so I'm a little bit sick today, so please excuse my voice and some occasional voice cracks. In order to build an FTP server in Python, we're going to make use of an external Python package called Twisted. And in order to install this package, we need to open up our command line. So CMD on Windows, the terminal on Linux and Mac. And we're going to type here pip install twisted. And I'm also going to install this here on my Windows subsystem for Linux because I want to run some demonstrations there as well. So I'm going to open up my Ubuntu subsystem and I'm going to say pip three install and then twist it so that we can run things here as well. Now, once we have that, we can start by developing or by creating our directory structure. The basic idea is that we have anonymous access, so anonymous users, guest users logging in without having to authenticate themselves, uh, and they can access the so-called public directory. And then we also have users, and those users should access their own user directories. So in order to have the structure, we're going to create a new directory. We're going to call it public. And inside of that directory, we're going to create a simple text file, we're going to call it some file.txt. And we're going to say hello world. This is a file or something like that. And once we have that structure, now, we can create our own FTP server, or what we can also do is we can go into the command line and use twisted to already start an FTP server with a simple command using a one liner. So we can actually go to the directory that we're currently working in, whatever that is in your case, and then we can say twist it without an E, so twist D dash N FTP. And this is going to start an FTP server, but that is not how we want to do it. So this is just something I wanted to show you. I'm going to terminate here because we're going to write our own FTP server with Python code. And for that, I'm going to start with the imports here. I'm going to leave a couple of lines free here so that I'm not blocking the code with my camera because the lines are quite long. Uh, we're going to start by saying from twisted dot cret dot checkers, we're going to import the allow anonymous access checker, and we're going to import the in memory username password database don't use it's called like that because we should not use it in production. Uh, but we're going to use it here for uh, demonstrational purposes, we're going to also say from twisted dot cred dot portal, we want to import the portal class, we also want to import from twisted dot internet, we want to import the reactor. And we're going to also say from twisted dot protocols dot FTP, the FTP factory and the FTP realm. By the way, FTP stands for file transfer protocol. So the whole purpose of FTP is transferring files, uploading files, downloading files, and so on. So those are the imports, I'm going to now move them up here again, because it doesn't matter if I block them since you already saw them. And then we're going to say that the portal is going to be equal to portal and to this portal constructor, we're going to pass a realm, which is going to be an FTP realm. And here as the first parameter, we need to define the anonymous root path. So what is the directory that the anonymous users are going to have access to? And in our case, this is going to be point slash public. So the current directory and then public. This is that directory here. So this is the directory that the anonymous users will have access to. And then after passing the realm, we're also going to pass a list of checkers. And in our case, it's going to be the allow anonymous access checker uh, only in the beginning. So we're going to have a simple example here with anonymous access first. And then we're going to say factory equals FTP factory, we're going to pass the portal and we're going to say reactor dot listen. Uh, actually, did I? Oh, yeah, this should work. Listen. And then we're going to say, uh, listen, TCP actually want to pass the port 21 and the factory. And then reactor dot run. That is that I think just PyCharm doesn't recognize the functions, but they're actually correct. So I'm going to run this now. And you can see nothing here. It's just running. But what we can do here now is we can com uh, connect to that FTP server in multiple ways. So one thing is you can just use the command line and type FTP. And we can then say open localhost. So 127001 port 21. And then we can log in as anonymous. And then I can just uh, say, I don't know, 
hello at mail.com. And then you can see anonymous login. Okay, I can type ls dot and you can see here I have some file txt. And then I could also uh, just download it by saying get some file dot txt. And then you can see transfer complete and the file would now be located, I think in my user directory. So if I go to users, I should have the some file txt here. There you go. Hello world, this is a file. So we downloaded it from the FTP server. If you want to have a more uh, user friendly interface, you can also download a tool like FileZilla, which is an FTP graphical user interface client, you can just go online and download it. Uh, and here you can also pass 127001 anonymous or actually you don't need to pass anything, it's automatically going to pick the anonymous user, quick connect, okay, and there you go, you have the file here. So this is the most simple version of an FTP server. What we can also do here is we can also provide um, an authentication. So we can also say that we want to have a checker that has username and password uh, that we can use to authenticate users. But this for some reason, and maybe I did something wrong, doesn't work just running it in PyCharm, we have to run this on the Windows subsystem for Linux. If you have a better solution, let me know in the comment section down below but we have to create the user directories in the home directory and then we have to provide the users. So what we do here is we say checker equals in memory username password database don't use and then checker dot add user and here we pass username and password. So neural nine works because I already have a user neural nine in my Windows subsystem for Linux. So I can run this here. I can open up the Windows subsystem. Uh, what's the problem now? Let me just see if that persists. No, there you go. Neural nine is the user that I have, which means that I also have slash home. Here I have the neural nine directory. And that's the important thing. You need to have the directory of the username in the home directory. You don't need to have the actual user, but you need to have the directory. So here we're going to pass one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to also say checker at user, some user, and then also one, two, three, four, five, doesn't really matter. Um, but we're going to now go ahead and create a directory sudo make directory some user. And then we have this directory some user, we're going to go inside of it, we're going to say sudo vi my file dot txt. We're going to say hello world, another file. And that um, is now the structure. And what we want to do here now is we want to just um, provide here the user directory, we're going to say slash home. So this is going to take the home directory, a directory of the respective user. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, basically, I think, I think actually, that's it, we just need to pass the checker. And then what we need to do is we need to go into the Windows subsystem for Linux, and we need to say, um, in the directory that we are currently in, which is this one, Python three main py. Uh, and of course, we need to use the sudo command here in order to be able to host this. And then we can do the same thing, we can run something like filezilla, or you can again, use the command line 127001 neural 912345 quick connect, there you go. And this lists actually the home directory, which has a bunch of files, but we can also connect here with uh, what was it some user one, two, three, four, five, quick connect. And then you can see I have the my file txt here. So this also works. Alright, so I just figured out it's not about the home directory, the home directory is just what you get by default, if you don't pass anything. So if you go to the FTP realm, constructor, you can see that the user home is slash home by default, but you can also pass another directory. So we can also pass here as the user directory dot slash my users, for example, and then we can just create a new directory here, my users, and we can uh, create the users here. So neural nine, and then maybe some user and then maybe another user, another user, now let's create it here as well another user. Let's have the password be password here. Um, and then we can create here some file, for example, my file, again, dot txt, some stuff here. 
uh, then this also works. So and we don't need to use the Windows subsystem for Linux. This was a misconception. I thought that it has to be slash home just because it was the default value. And when I prepared the video, um, I struggled with this a bit, but uh, I, I just realized now that you can pass the path here. So dot slash my users, for example, the important thing is that in that path, you need to have a separate directory for each user. And then you can just again, open up FileZilla. You can say one, two, seven, zero, zero, one, then the username, another user, password. And then uh, we need to run this, of course, first, sorry. There you go. Authentication failed. Why is that? Did I provide the wrong password? Another user password. Let's see. Authentication failed. Okay, so it doesn't realize the password. Uh, let me just see if this is Oh, no, the problem is sorry. I didn't pass the checker. That's the issue. So let's run this again. There you go, my file again. So this now works. So it doesn't have to be on the Windows subsystem for Linux, it also works on Windows. But you have to have a directory that has a directory for each user because when the user connects is authenticated, it will be uh, the user will be sent to the directory inside of the user home. So we have this user home uh, parameter here, but this is just the directory for all the users and then the individual users have the directories with their files. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.